everybody, what's up? So, Io is a Netflix original movie that stars Danny Houston, Margaret Qualley, and Marvel's Falcon, Anthony Mackie. Directed by Jonathan Helpert, Io is the story of Sam, a young scientist that lives on a mountaintop in a post-apocalyptic world where everyone on Earth has fled for survival to Jupiter's moon, Io. My mindset going into Io, besides why does Netflix release their originals at 2 a.m., was the thinking that this movie was going to be about two people, the last people on Earth, and their adventure as they race against time across the continent, fighting against the new harsh elements and attempts to catch that very last shuttle off Earth and their perils along the way. And I couldn't have been more wrong. Again, the trailer duped me. Io is so slow and so boring that really, it's going to be hard to make a review because nothing here ever happens. So you got Sam on a mountain where the last bit of fresh air can be found, living a solitary life where she narrates her entire day that revolves around going to the art gallery and emailing her boyfriend on aisle, all while apparently trying to save everyone through the mad science of honey. That's right, Winnie the Pooh's going to love this one because bees are the key to Earth's survival, which has been decimated by... It never really goes in and tells you the exact reason as to why, but it does hint at global warming, but never comes out and clearly defines it. When a stranger by the name of Micah, though, played by Mackie, falls from the sky in a homemade balloon, that the more I think about it, the funnier it gets. And the two then set out on a grand adventure. <laughs> nope. The two then talk. A lot. The dialogue in this movie is nullifyingly tiresome and monotonous, and let's not forget extremely repetitive and predictable. I knew exactly what the ending had in store for us about 30 minutes into this movie, and I really just didn't care. Not just for the ending, but these characters. How many times do we have to hear them talk about the wind blowing in the wrong direction? Or how people can adapt and change to the new world? I've never seen two more lifeless, uninteresting people fall in love before. If that's actually what happened here, because I'm not really sure if it is. I'm not really sure if this movie was about them falling in love, or just having nothing better to do. Largely due to the fact Mackie and Quali have no chemistry. But let's get off this plot just for a minute and talk about some other things, like the acting. Which for me was okay. It wasn't awful or anything. However, there was nothing special here that emerged to make me believe or get behind these characters. Maybe something would have stood out if the dialogue would have been written just a little bit better or something. Anything actually happened in the movie. But overall, it was just meh. If there was anything good or maybe I could talk about on the positive side, the cinematography looked really nice. It was a well shot movie and the effects from the beginning when they show all those ships launching from the planet, even though I'm not really sure deploying all those rockets all at the same time would have been a really smart decision. As well as when they travel into the wasteland, it all looked really cool. How they showed the foliage taking on a different appearance, adapting to survive, looked awesome, and the overall production value appeared high, even though most of this movie is confined to just a few small locations. And lastly, there's the ending. By this time, I just didn't care anymore. My involvement in this movie and these characters was purely for review purposes only. So they finally worked this movie into that final push, which is getting in the balloon and going to the art museum. Where that ending you've been anticipating for the last hour, it happens exactly as you thought it would. Except it's a lot longer, a lot more tedious, and so much more boring than you ever could have imagined it could have been. So my recommendation, if it's 2 a.m., don't watch I.O. unless you need something to put you to sleep. I'll give I.O. a D-. Anyways, guys, I.O., did you see it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to be part of the adventure, subscribe right here and join the quest.